Hi, I'm Crystal Hart from the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement, and today we're going to take a look at the new Google Meets update, which includes live polling. Polls are a great way to quickly gauge the pulse of your students. You can use polls to identify topics that need more discussion or test understanding of the class content. Polls in Meet ensure that teachers can get the feedback they need and the students can make themselves heard leading to an all-around more engaging, productive, and more enjoyable classroom experience. With polls in Meet, teachers can set up multiple questions viewable only to them and then launch the poll when it's timely during the class. Once a poll is closed, meeting host will receive a report with a tally of the results to make it easy to refer back to and then take action. The teacher can then share the results of the poll so that the participants can also see a summarized bar chart. Teachers will also automatically receive an email containing the export of the poll data in Google Sheets. To create a poll for your students, you will want to click on this icon for activities. Select polls and then click start a poll. Type in your question and the multiple choice answers you would like your students to see. You now can save the poll question for later, or launch it immediately. You also have the trash can icon to discard the poll. I can also create multiple polls and launch at different times throughout our class period. Now I'm ready to launch my polls for my students. I am not going to show the results yet. I'm going to click launch, and I will now be able to see student responses as they come in live on my teacher dashboard. Here on the student view, I now see a green notification over activities. This means I now have a poll that I can answer. Click on the activities. There is a green dot next to polls, so I know that I have a poll my teacher would like me to participate in. Click here. I can now see the poll that my teacher has made live. I can read the question and respond. Your name and answer will be recorded. Click vote and it now says that I have voted. On my teacher dashboard, I can now see in real time the vote. The results will be emailed and stored in my drive and I can see names associated with each vote. When I am ready to show the students the results, toggle over show everyone results. Here on my student end, I can see their results right here. As the votes are coming in, I will also see the new votes automatically. On the teacher dashboard, when I am ready to end the poll, click end the poll. When you are ready to launch your second poll, click launch, and students will now see that they have another poll live. I see on the first poll that my time has ended and I can no longer change my vote. But now on the student view, I see I have another poll live. I need to select an answer, click vote, Again, on my teacher dashboard, I can see the votes as they come in in real time. If you'd like to show the results, toggle over. When you are ready to end the poll, click End Poll. You can continue to create polls throughout the entire Google Meet if you need more. Once my class session is over, I will click End and leave the Meet. Once your data is ready from your Google Meet, you will receive an email with the links to the drive folders containing all of the information. The reports will be stored automatically in your Google Drive. A folder will be created called Meeting Reports. To view the data, you will need to open up the sheet that corresponds with the Google Meet you held. You can now see the name of each student, the question, and their responses. You can filter at the bottom and separate the polls if you had multiple polls. There is also a timestamp. We hope that the new Google Meet update of live polling helps enhance student engagement in your virtual classroom.